To my channel i really hope that today is treating you well um but today i have some recipes on recipes on recipes for you guys i filmed every single day for a week which guys it's not easy so make sure if you do enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and just appreciate my hard work for you guys because this is like doing five what i eat in a day is in one video you are getting top content right here this is just me sharing with you how i make my food please don't find the need to compare what you eat to what I eat. I think it's all important that we just eat what our bodies are telling us to. I just want some good vibes and some good food. Let's just get on into the video. Okay guys, so we're starting out with my favorite breakfast, which is oatmeal. I take a mashed banana and add it into my oats with water and just mix that up and this makes the most delicious little compote and chop up some fruit for the topping. And I also put in some chia seeds. Chia seeds are really good for you and they melt in perfectly with the oatmeal so you don't even taste them. My favorite part is getting creative with the toppings. So I just use what I have, which was strawberries. I add a little bit of almond butter. That's literally the tiniest scoop I've ever seen. But hey, it's very filling. And then some pumpkin seeds and Greek yogurt. And I finish it with a sprinkle of cinnamon. This makes a great pre-workout meal. For lunch, I am making a salad with quinoa and veggies. So I just used some leftover rice and quinoa that I had. I added walnuts, raisins, tofu, sweet potato, spinach, and everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's on top and a drizzle of some vinaigrette. Salads like this are awesome to make with whatever you have in your fridge. Moving on to dinner, I made fried rice and I have a lot more time to cook so I've been definitely utilizing that to grow my skills. So I basically started out with chopping up the veggies, spinach, carrots, frozen edamame and frozen peas. I would love to tell you how to do this, but I'm afraid that would take up the whole entire video. I also just made some egg scramble for the dish as well. Next, I just put the onion and the rest of the vegetables over the frying pan and sauteed them as well as the edamame and later spinach. And voila, your vegetable fried rice or my vegetable fried rice is done. I added this Trader Joe's Japanese seasoning on top. It is now Tuesday and I'm making a light breakfast. One of my favorite combinations is apples and Greek yogurt. And what I love about Greek yogurt is it has a ton of protein. So I just love making these little fruit bowls with Greek yogurt and adding whatever I have into them. I'm using this Too Good yogurt, which is my fave, and adding the fruit, cinnamon, some purely Elizabeth grain-free granola, and join that outside. It is time for lunch. So I'm making some quesadillas, veggie quesadillas, and adding beans, cheese, onions, tomatoes, and I'm spraying some olive oil on top. Putting that in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes until it gets crispy, and then I'm also chopping some mango. Once that's out, I'm taking the front part off and putting on the mango, and my mango was a little bit too ripe, so it, it made it very messy to say the least, and definitely not very pretty, so I'll just say it tasted a lot better than it looked. I also added some sour cream to the top, and guac would also be very good with this for dinner i'm going to be making a indian dish not going to try to say the name of that so this was actually funny because i burnt it the first time because my mom wasn't there to oversee me so this is you know luca trying her best out here <laughs> This recipe called for a lot of different spices, which in my opinion really made it good. And I put the tomatoes, the potatoes, and the butternut squash in the little mixing thing. I'm so bad at explaining. And some brown rice and quinoa, and I'm putting the little mixture on top of it. It looks gross, but it was actually one of my favorite recipes I made this week. The best part was the Greek yogurt on top, which really cooled all the spices down. Is it bad? No. Mm, hot. Oh. Wow. It's so good. Really? Yeah, I'm not kidding. It's actually really good. Good morning, America. So today I'm having some 
crannies. <laughs> Ew, that's a weird, okay. English muffins with some almond butter and I topped it with banana. This is so simple and so delicious. And we also cannot forget to sprinkle some cinnamon on top. This is me waving at the camera for way too long. I'm making a sandwich today and this is a vegetarian sandwich. So for all you vegetarians out there, I got you. So I just toasted some bread. This is the Good Seed Bread by Dave. I love Dave and I love this hummus too. It's the Ithaca hummus. And then I'm taking an avocado, which we finally had ripe avocados. It helped me a lot in making recipes. And then some tofurkey. I also topped it with some spinach and some other, every, everything but the bagel seasoning, which really, oh my gosh, it, it makes every meal. Finally, I spritz some olive oil on top and we are done. The perfect vegetarian sandwich. It is time for dinner. So I made a salad here. This is a little summer salad. So I love my salads with fruit and I just chopped up some strawberries and I chopped up my avocado from earlier, which looks a little questionable, but you know, pretend it's perfect. And then I broke up the lettuce and added some spinach to my mix and took the strawberries and the avo, <laughs> put it on top and I sprinkled some blueberries and hemp hearts, which are a great addition to salads and some croutons. <laughs> This has been my favorite dressing for a while. It's the Trader Joe's sesame dressing, would recommend. Part two to my meal was a veggie pasta. This is for all my healthy gals in the club. So I just have this microwave zucchini noodle and I have some homemade Alfredo sauce that I'd made it the week before and I sprinkled some Parmesan. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm making a peanut butter and banana smoothie. So it called for one and a half cups of almond milk, one and a half bananas, half a cup of oats, some vanilla extract, a lot of chia seeds, and I used two scoops of this PB Fit peanut butter. I also added a sprinkle of cinnamon and put it in my blender until it was smooth and I'm telling you smoothies usually don't make me full but this one really did because of the oats. For lunch I just had the leftovers of the butternut squash and potato curry that I made a couple nights before. I was so on the health grind apparently this week because I had a lot of salads. I usually don't eat this many salads, guys. So I made my own dressing, which I, again, never do. It's a tahini dressing. Sadly, this made my stomach hurt later. Um, so yeah, that was kind of tragic for me. But I just, it just called for all these different things that I'm not going to say because you can just look at the recipe. My mom pre-made, I'm so mean. My mom pre-made some chickpeas with mushrooms and I put that on a pan to go in the oven. which I put in for about 15 minutes. Then I just got some kale and put that in a bowl, obviously. Next, I mixed the tomatoes with the chickpeas that were all cooked. I put the dressing on the kale. And this was so good. I Salads don't make me full, but this one really did. Like, I was so surprised. And I added hemp seeds on top. I haven't been showing you guys, but I always have like a midnight snack or dessert. So I'm having Greek yogurt with granola and blueberries. This is a go-to for me. I also love chocolate. Guys, it is finally Friday. So I started out the day with a nice healthy breakfast, which was my two good Greek yogurt with apples and cacao nibs with a little bit of cinnamon on top. Lunch, I had some avocado toast, so I swear I make the best avo toast ever. First, you gotta toast the bread, obviously, and then just get your ripe avocado and slice it and put that on the avocado. Ah, I'm so amazing at voiceovers. Put it on the bread. <laughs> Then once again, I'm utilizing the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and sprinkling some of that on top with some red pepper flakes. And to give a little protein, I'm sprinkling some hemp seeds on top. 
And for a side, I had some light and fit Greek yogurt. This was a dish that I never tried making before and it was super easy. So basically, I just started out by making the ricotta, which is cheese and I sprinkled some cinnamon in that, a lot of cinnamon. <laughs> To give it that flavor although this dish is not vegan i think ricotta cheese is so good it's very light and fluffy um and then i put some quinoa and topped the ricotta on top quinoa is a great source of protein and i sauteed some apples with butter and honey and i put those over the dish and finished it off with some candied walnuts <music> I promise this recipe is not intimidating at all for my beginner cooks out there, so definitely give this a try. Personally, I would have added a drizzle of honey just to give it some more sweetness. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, it would mean so much to me if you gave this video a thumbs up and subscribed. I know some of you are watching and you are not subscribed yet, which is a little confusing considering you made it through the whole video, so you must have liked it. You get two videos a week from me and it's just a fun time. I'm going to be starting out a fun game on my channel, so if you are an active Instagram follower, my Instagram is at it's Luca Whitaker. That means commenting, liking, all of that. I will shout you out in the next video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I got so much back, I think I'm never running out. Yeah, bust me down a whip, bitch. I don't do this for no clout. Hey, I got so much back, I think.